Hello, everyone. In this video, we will introduce how to use the 2.1 inch USB monitor as a Raspberry Pi serial screen. This video mainly focuses on the demo of the Raspberry Pi serial screen, how to customize and modify the theme, and how to modify the code to achieve custom theme effects. First, let's talk about the demo of the Raspberry Pi serial screen. First, program the screen image. Let's go to the product's official page and then click on the wiki of the product, find and download the 2.1 inch USB monitor RPI image file. Once downloaded, extract the .img file. Next, prepare a TF card and connect it to your PC. Use SD formatter software to format the card. Then, open Win32 Disk Imager software, select the downloaded system image and click right to program the system image onto the TF card. Then, the program process is complete. Second, connecting Raspberry Pi. Insert the TF card into the card slot on the screen. Use a USB cable to connect the Type-C interface of the screen to the USB connector of the Raspberry Pi. Then, power on the Raspberry Pi, and after running the demo, you can see the display theme. Next, let's customize the theme content. Step 1, Download and Install Program. Find and download WaveShare RPI Monitor software on the wiki, and then unzip it. Install the klight underscore codec underscore pack dot exe media player driver from the RPI monitor directory. Make sure to click fresh install during the installation process. Once the installation is complete, run the program. Step 2. Customize the theme. Open the software, you can see various themes provided by us. Now, we select this theme as an example. Click on theme edit. On this interface, as you can see, the preview of the theme is in the middle, all layers are displayed on the right side, and options for adding controls are on the left side. First, we add a background video. Click on plus video, and you can find the videos you need at the corresponding path. Clicking on save allows you to see that the background video has been generated. You can also see this video layer on the right side. If you have a video that you want to add, you can also place the video in the folder at this path. Next, we'll add text. Click on the text button, then type CPU in the text line. Choose the white color, select an appropriate font, and then click save. Now, CPU will appear in the preview. If you have a specific font you want to use, you can turn on the custom font switch, then open the folder and place the font file into the folder. As for font color, you can also click on the eyedropper button on the right to sample colors from the preview image. Remember to click this button again to disable the sampling function after you finish sampling. You can adjust the position and size of the text by dragging and resizing it. At the same time, you can use Ctrl plus C to copy the generated text, and then modify the text content to quickly generate different texts. Based on the above operations, we have created all the text elements. Now, let's add dynamic data. Similarly, click on the text button, then turn on the system data switch at the bottom. Choose the parameters you want to display, then click save. A real-time parameter will appear. Repeat the above operations, we have created all the dynamic data. Finally, let's focus on the progress bar in the middle. You can see various types of progress bars on the right side. Choose the most suitable one and use the delete key to remove any unnecessary graphics. As for the generated graphics, you can right-click on its layer and click Edit to operate. The background color represents the base color of the progress bar, while the foreground color represents the color of the progress. If you want a gradient effect, you can turn on the gradient color switch for the foreground and then choose appropriate colors to achieve the gradient effect. To make the progress bar correspond to real-time data, turn on the system data switch, choose the corresponding parameters, and then save. A real-time progress bar is now generated. Based on the above operations, we have created all the progress bars. Finally, click on Save Theme and name it Color, then Save. This way, a cool theme is completed. Lastly, let me introduce how to modify the code to run the custom theme effect. Open the terminal, install the necessary libraries, and download the sample demo according to the wiki. Navigate to the directory of the sample demo. File sharing has been set up here, and you can refer to the file sharing section in our wiki for specific operations. We won't go into detail here. After entering the demo, open the code with an editor software. Place our created theme into the theme folder. Modify the theme display part in the sample code to the name of the theme we just saved, and change the cycle number to the number of themes you want to display. At the same time, comment out other themes that are not needed. 
the language setting here needs to be the same as the one used when creating the theme on the host, otherwise running the demo will result in an exception. In my case, I used English as the language for the host to create the theme, so the monitor underscore language parameter is set to 1. Then, press Ctrl plus S to save the code and run it, and the theme will be displayed. Now, let's set up auto startup by modifying the auto startup file. After rebooting the Raspberry Pi, you will see the display is on. There are even more cool themes and applications for you, come on, let's try!